to a story that we've been covering that has uh, parents concerned about the drinks that they provide for uh, their children. Why shouldn't they be, right? So what we're learning is that there are trace heavy metals in fruit juices and soft drinks that we never knew about before. And that they could actually be, you know, a carcinogen, a cancer causing in certain combinations and in certain amounts. RT's Trinity Chavez has a story. We know we live in a world where we're surrounded by heavy metals, but when do they become dangerous and can they be avoided? Well, we went to the experts to find out. They are substances that make their way into your food and drinks because they occur naturally in the air, water, and soil. Mercury is in fish, lead is in bone broth, and arsenic in rice, and the list goes on and on. But how are things that are supposed to be good for you contain such harmful toxins? The way the world is right now with the way fish is, ra is farmed and the way the food is processed, it's just one of those things where we go to organic um, to protect ourselves from what's going on with uh, foods in the environment and um, these substances. But experts say that small amounts, one time or by one source, may not be so bad. We know that our bodies have been exposed and continue to get exposed to heavy metal. But the issue is the chronic nature of the exposure. The more exposure, obviously, the more harmful it is. In fact, exposure to heavy metals, such as arsenic, lead, and mercury, could have damaging effects on one's health. We worry about heart disease, cardiovascular uh, disease, hypertension, so high blood pressure. We c are concerned with fertility. And children who have been exposed to high levels of heavy metals could be at risk for lowered IQ, behavioral problems like ADHD, type 2 diabetes, and cancer, among other health issues. It will be a danger for our kids' health. It should be prohibited or more protected by the government. In 2016, the FDA did propose limiting inorganic arsenic in infant rice cereal to 100 parts per billion, and in 2013 proposed limiting inorganic arsenic in apple juice to 10 parts per billion, the federal arsenic standard for drinking water. But neither limit was ever finalized because the fact is, the scientific community is still unsure of what amount is actually safe. Even an international team of experts administered by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and the World Health Organization have been unsuccessful determining safe exposure levels for heavy metals like lead and arsenic. The experts could actually not define a safe level of exposure because these heavy metals are so broad spread in the environment in our food supply. So the consequence is to reduce the levels in the foods to, to as low as possible. While scientific advances have enabled increased detection and data, the FDA says it's working to identify other areas in which they can further improve efforts to reduce the level of these metals in foods. Now, experts say the best way to limit your heavy metal exposure is to buy organic products and to eat organic foods and to stay away from the products known to have high levels of heavy metals. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.